Okay, here we are again. It's Wednesday, August 24th. We're in the middle of the week here. Um, and first of all, I'd like to say, I don't know if people have noticed, I think the students have noticed, oh, yeah. that we have these really beautiful blazers from the 1980s. Mm -hmm. I think that might be from the 70s. You wouldn't this imagine. My students, they loved it. They said, oh my God, Mr. Esposito, that is so cool. Okay, Where but, did you get no. that? We got to tell them. All right. We got it at the clothing warehouse downtown Greenville. It's a vintage store that has all kinds of great clothes, and we're going to buy some more and show them off here on our videos because I'm from the 80s, and I love the 80s, and I'm dressing like the teachers I had in the 80s now because that makes me feel like a teacher. And the cool thing about it is a lot of the stuff it, years ago was made here in America. This jacket That's has right. got this style. You don't even see this style anymore. But guess what? It is made in... Manufactured in California. Never hear of that. This right here is a Belk original. Belk original. A John White's Belk original. Oh I'm assuming that was made in America. Tell me but that thing's not. Look at the interior what? fabric of this thing. Oh, that looks like a shirt to me. Okay. Oh in All math right. six lesson today. Time. Lesson, lesson time. Lesson time. We were talking about exponents. Okay. Like eight to the fifth power is eight times eight times eight times eight times eight. Okay. And we were also talking about Mr. Gore, factor trees. Your I homework. Can imagine that people we sometimes, gotta, students sometimes, they'll think it's just eight times the five. Yeah, I know, but we're really, that's exactly right. That's why we're going over it two days in a row. Right. So they do not do eight times five. Right. They do eight times eight times eight times that's eight times right. eight. See? The homework tonight is page 35, 10 through 33. And some of you started it in class because we had a little bit of time. And that's good. Parents, they need to finish it up. 10 through 33 on page 35. In math seven, almost everyone finished their homework today in class. Math seven, we were just talking about squares and square roots. So it was a quick lesson. They got started on page 36, 10 through 25, and um, most finished, which I'm very proud of. Now, what's going on in science? In science, Mister, what do we do today? Know? We went over science safety symbols, moms and dads, OK? Basically, how to remain safe in the science lab. We did that in the first day of actually using the Cornell notes. Yesterday, in the last video, I explained how we uh, did the framework, how we introduced them to how That's to right. use a Cornell notes. Well, I did a simple assignment today so that they can actually, this first time of actually using Cornell notes. Here it was. This is the input information. This is the, inf the information they took off the board from me, and from, we got it from the textbook together. And we took this information and we input this input information input. on the right side. On the right. Then I had them take a one, one sign safety symbol, and they do a little poster on it. And now they take that information that we learned and they represent it in a little poster. Here's the sign safety symbol. This is how to use it appropriately in the science lab. Here's how not to use it appropriately in the science lab. So this is the kind of this is the caliber of work that I'm looking for. This is one of my students today who gave me this work. Look at that. Nice. It's neat. This gets stapled to the left-hand side. It's a poster that you can look at real quickly. Within a minute, you can tell us what that was all about. That's the kind of work we're looking for. Some students didn't finish. I told them to take it home and finish for homework. So moms and dads, this is the kind of workmanship we're looking for for tomorrow, OK? Looks we good. start off the school year like this. The, next, the rest of the year, it's easy, it's easy run. High Excellent. expectations Excellent. that they can reach. Yes. And that's perfect. I like it. And it goes inside their ISNs. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Mr. Esposito? Anything else? Oh, you know what? I do have this a sneak peek for you tomorrow. I've got a wallet here that one of my students has made for me. This is a sneak peek tomorrow that she's made out of duct tape. But, you know, we're running out of time, so I have to let you go. Tomorrow we'll go over this. Ladies and gentlemen, two thumbs up. Mr. Goff, framework. Two thumbs up. Peace out. All right. All right.